In this video, we're going to solve an interest problem that has to deal with simple interest over one year. Here, a woman invests $4,000 in two accounts. One's at 6% interest, the other at 9% for one year. At the end of the year, she has earned $270 in simple interest. How much has she invested in each account? To help us organize what's happening in this problem, we're going to keep a table of the investment. We're going to look at the amount that is invested, or the principal, times the rate it's invested at, which is always written as a decimal, will equal the amount of interest earned in the account in one year. In the first account, we aren't told anything about the amount, but we do know it's 6% interest. So we'll call the principal x, and write the 6% as a decimal, 0 0.06. The other account, we don't know how much is in it either, so we will label it y, but its interest rate is 0 0.09, changing that percentage to a decimal. To calculate the interest, then, we multiply the row across and get 0.06x, and 0.09y. We then have several totals on this problem. 4,000 is the total amount that has been invested in the two accounts. We'll put that total beneath the investment, or the principles. The 270 in interest is the total amount of interest earned in the accounts, and so we'll put that under the interest column. To get e two equations with our two variables to solve this problem with, we use the columns and those totals that we just found. x plus y is equal to 4,000, and 0.06x plus 0.09y equals 270. And we have a problem we can solve by addition. Let's get opposites in front of the x by multiplying by negative 0.06 on both sides. When we do, the first equation is negative 0.06x minus 0.06y equals 4,000 times 0.06 is negative 240. The other equation is still the same, 0.06x plus 0.09y equals 270. When we combine the equations together, the x's eliminate, and we get 0.03y equals 30. Now, we simply have to divide both equations by 0.03, and we get our answer for y. Whoops, don't divide by the y, just the 03. y is equal to 1,000. We still need to find our x. We can find that really quickly by plugging back into the original equation. x plus y is 4,000. x plus 1,000 is 4,000. Subtract 1,000 from both sides, and x, the other account, has 3,000 in it. Be sure to clearly label our answers. x is $3,000, and our table reminds us that x is invested at 6%, and y, the $1,000, the table reminds us is invested at 9% interest. We found those solutions by organizing our principal times our rate, equaling the interest, identifying where the totals went, and using that to make our two equations with two unknowns, which we can solve for.